Hi, good afternoon, and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorials. Have you tried to upgrade uh, your PC, your Windows 10 PC, to Windows 11, uh, and you have encountered this uh, screen here? Uh, it says that your processor does not uh, have uh, two more cores, the TPN 2.2 uh, is not supported, and the secure boot is not supported either. Uh, in fact, all of these requirements are met by, by this PC, which I don't understand why, but anyway, I'm going to show you how you can bypass this and uh, upgrade your PC to Windows 11 without having to meet this requirement, okay? So let's jump into step number one. Okay, let's do this. Step number one, just click on your browser, either Chrome or Mozilla, whichever browser you have, and navigate to this site. I will post this site here uh, that shows here on the uh, on the uh, URL address. I will post it in uh, in the video description for you to have uh, quick access to it. First thing you need to do is to download an image of Windows 11. And how do you do that? Navigate to the site, go down, and make sure you select Download Windows Disk Image ISO. All right, so you're gonna drop down here and they say uh, Multi Edition, right? Uh, and then click on Download. It's gonna bring you to another uh, screen down here, it's going to select your language. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to select English, United States, and I'm just going to say confirm. Okay, that's how you, uh, that's how the image is going to be downloaded. So depending on where your download file is, it's going to go in there. So in my case, it recognized that I have a 62-bit uh, processor, so I need to download this one. I click on the link and it will download to my downloaded folder. So once your browser uh, notifies you that the uh, downloaded have been completed, navigate to the download folder and make sure a copy of the Windows image is sitting right there. Okay, just close it, close the browser, and then let's jump into the next step. The next step will be to uh, modify the registry. And you have to be very careful here because if you do something wrong here, you will render your computer useless. So I usually uh, uh, recommend uh, creating a copy of your registry, okay, back up. So I'm just gonna click on start. I'm just gonna um, click on start and type the word registry. And once you see registry editor here, click on it. And then first step, make a copy of the registry. So click on file, file, export, and uh, navigate to your desktop if you wanna put it there. I'm just gonna make a copy there of today's date. Click on save, and that's about it. Okay. Once the registry comes up and you do the backup, uh, click on uh, key local machine. I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna put a copy of the path on the uh, On the description of the video for you to have a reference. So click on uh, key local machine then navigate to system and Once you're in system navigate to setup. All right, and once you're here look for something called Mo setup Okay, that's where you have to go Mo setup now on Mo setup uh, you need to create uh, a key here, a registry key. For that, you need to right-click and then New, Key, navigate to D32, the word 32, select that. You can do Rename, and you're going to name it Allow Upgrades with Unsupported TPM or CPU. All right, that's how it's going to call it. Uh, the name. I'm just gonna put all these names in the in the um, in the video description as well for you to have it. Uh, so once you you create one, you need to uh, modify. Click on modify and select uh, the um, select the value data to one, and then that's about it. That's all you need to do in the registry. Close the registry and then restart the computer. I'm just gonna uh, stop the video for now until I reboot. And I, for the next step, I want you to navigate to uh, this site here. I just got a, a link um, already set up to go faster. Uh, I will put the a link to the site in the description as well. So I need you to navigate to halfway through down the website, uh, the site. And I need you to uh, find this link here. All right. So this link here, uh, navigate to blah, 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 this one here. Now, I want you to open another tab. Uh, of course, it's going to open an, on another tab when you click on it, or may not. Uh, just click on it, and it will take you to this side here. I just pre-selected the link to go faster in this uh, video. So 
this is what you're going to do here. You see this uh, little uh, uh, two pages here? That's a copy option of this uh, uh, of this site. So in, in GitHub, as you can see up there. So I need you to open a notepad, right? Folder. And this is what you're going to do. We're going to move it a little bit on the side. You're going to go click here, click, and open notepad. And just going to paste all this information in here. Now. What's the next step? The next step will be to rename this file. How are we going to rename this file? Right here. Just copy this line here, right? Uh, go back to the uh, uh, notepad and then save as, and we can put it on the desktop, right? And we this is how we're gonna name it, all right? To click on save, and that's about it. Just close, close the browser, and then let's open uh, this folder here that we just saved here. Right click on it and then uh, run as administrator. It's going to do this little trick here in Windows PowerShell. All right, it says here that it's already installed, which is good. All right, and then we are ready to install Windows 11 on this PC. And to prove it, let me just click on this little link. Let's go back to download. And this is where the image is. Right click on the image and click on mount. Once you click on mount, you're going to see here set up. Click on set up and run as administrator. And then let's Windows uh, 11 installation begin. I'm just going to pause the video from time to time so the video runs faster. Okay, it's going to come to this uh, uh, window and then click on accept. Okay. And then, as you can see, I wasn't able to install it before, but now I can. Now, the options here are very simple. You want to keep all the files and application. If you have a computer that's been running for a long time, you want to keep all the applications and everything, that's the best option for you. Uh, also, if you want to keep personal files only, up to you. Nothing. If you want to scratch, remove everything from your computer and reinstall uh, Windows 11 uh, fresh, a fresh copy of Windows 11. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to say keep file settings and application. And I'm just going to click next, next, next. But I'm not going to do it. Uh, this is only to show you that I was able to bypass that uh, message. My choice here is always to keep file settings and application. I normally don't do that. But uh, with Windows 11, it has proven that everything is, uh, is left uh, as you had it before. And you're going to have a new computer with a new operating system exactly where you left the thing uh, uh, the last time you used them. Okay, so I'm just I'm going to stop the video now. So if you like what you saw, just give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you all have a great day.